Alright, hello and welcome back to Vanya's Place. This is episode 3 okay. of Alan Wake 2. So, we got Alan Wake back. He came back from the, uh, the dark place. And yeah, so we have to take him back to Bright Falls. If you look at the goals right here, um, investigate the previously flooded area is optional. So we're gonna go do that and then take uh, the car back to Bright Falls. Should look around. Okay, it is. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The it should be this area. Very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. A creepy twig sculpture? Okay. So we are headed the right way, yeah, okay. Nice. Maybe we'll find some extra clues in here. Who knows? Oh, there's a cooler box here. A locked box. Is it locked? Can I not shoot it or Is something? The cult of the tree symbol on it? Awesome. Notes and ammo. Oh, there's a flare like in the here. Of the trade. What is that? Oh, there's a no here. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. What the fuck? Okay. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. That's a new case. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Yeah. Sounds about right. Stash found. Murder at the Cauldron Lake. Oh, case closed, yeah. Goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Awesome. Okay, I think I remember this area, yeah. This is the path we took as Nightingale at the very beginning. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. What the fuck, man? Oh my god, that is a wolf. Oh my fuck! Where is it? Dude, what? Fucking wolves and shit? Oh my god! Jesus. Oh my god, I mauled a deer to fucking death. Didn't even eat it properly and shit. What the fuck? Okay, I can heal here naturally, so that's good. Wait, does that mean this whole area is accessible? Wow. Stream side, okay. There's a path that way, which I'm pretty sure will take us back. Oh my god. What There's the hell? Written here. A poem? Or a riddle? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, Seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Huh. Can I... Oh, I'm pressing X on it and I can't do anything with it. Okay. Nursery rhymes. There's just like some recording equipment here. 
What is that? Crow doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. A crow doll. So nothing in the camera, eh? Okay. Yeah, no, I still can't put anything in here. Hmm. Oh, wait a sec. Something feels different. I should look around. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Attack, stagger enemies more often. Oh. Okay, I see. So this will make uh, attack, stagger enemies more often, and this is the uh, obviously increase the maximum health. Okay, I see. Can I actually... Oh yeah, okay, my health has been below full this entire time, wow. I had absolutely no idea, my goodness. Okay. Oh my fuck. Hey buddy. My goodness. Oh, what is this? Huh. Okay. Which finder station that way? Oh, there is a path that way. And there's a path that way. So that, yeah, okay, that side takes us back. Here, I'm gonna go this way. Witch finders station. That's a shortcut that'll take me there, and then yeah, that's the way, okay. Watch a fucking wolf jump at me again. Yeah, environment looks really good. Another yeah, we got one another of one of this. Oh, the hero brave and strong left home to right or wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. Hello? Is anybody home? Hey, hey, don't make me, don't make me hurt you. Okay, we're clear. Can nothing in here to pick up. Can I close the door? I can. Awesome, yeah. I'd be more comfortable if that's closed. Okay, I can close every door, I guess. What the fuck? Are you gonna come to life, buddy? You better not. So nothing in here, okay. That's just my reflection. Oh, it's a cat. I can this fucking, what's a doll? What the fuck was that? Okay, ammunition, awesome. Won't say no to that. Oh my god, it's like right there. Two, five, four, seven, okay. Two, five, four, seven. Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. What? Okay. Here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, Toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the, of the test items was hypothesized. 
to be beneficial for these research purposes. My God. Test results negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Eugene Campbell, PhD, Department of Parafiction Research. Project Nursery Rhymes Working Title. I have received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. Huh. Oh. Man, fucking deers. <laughs> you remind me of literally everything hey, in dear. here. Freaking deer fest and then the deers just randomly spawning out of thin air and jump scaring you. Hello? What the fuck? There's like cameras and shit everywhere. What the fuck? It's a full backpack here. Reality altering effects. Oh man, I knew it. That FBC guy was doing something fishy when we were talking to him. And that one other guy just talked so much. He was being over talkative for no fucking reason. Yeah, the FBC is definitely involved. Okay, so I guess there's a lot connected with the dolls, figurines. Okay, well, nothing happened, okay. Euro doll. Wolf doll. Which finder station two, stream site one, cauldron lake rental cabins one. So these are the test sites. Okay. That's why there were cameras and shit everywhere. Is there anything this way? No, okay, well I can't go that way. Maybe I can oh yeah, I can make my way around it. Nothing in here. Can open any of this. Okay. Hmm. The hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. What the heck? Okay, so maybe the hero doll goes here. A weird feeling something's changed oh god woeful steps what is this oh my god there's footsteps of a wolf clearly oh my fucking god this is ridiculous come out little buddy i know you're in here Man, this is fucked. Oh my fucking god. They're em they're emitting like some type of dark dark smoke. Hey buddy. Who's a good boy? Another charm for my bracelet. My god, I seriously thought I was gonna have to like fight a wolf. How did I miss that? Murder sites, manuscript pages. Hmm. 
nursery rhymes. There we go. Creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Oh my god, look at all the clues I have. Holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so yeah, that will go there. Hmm. What the hell, man? Okay. Wolf doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Strange dolls. Yes. Awesome. Oh yeah. What? Really? <laughs> the FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. And that always goes well. Oh, wait, wait, there's rhymes and bright faults as well, then, I guess. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Damn. That's pretty fucked up. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet okay, you in the parking yeah. lot. I was worried I was missing stuff. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Oh, many sub fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mind place. What? Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. So the bits is how, okay. Um, maybe. But I don't have enough. Yeah. Okay, I guess, I guess I just gotta keep collecting them then. Okay. I'm just gonna take a quick look around before we book it. Oh, man. Clear signs of tampering. Clear signal rerouted into transmitter that is not one of ours. 
Well, that's a technician's uh, journal. You. What the fuck? Morning. Activity detected. Yeah. A W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? I have Casey. no fucking clue. What exactly does the FBC do? <laughs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Yeah. I knew those motherfuckers were up to something. All right, my God, finally time to go. Bright Falls it is. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there and then we'll talk properly. Yeah, really. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What What's text? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call Yeah, her? like at least call her. Oh, we were in the fucking dark place. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a uh, just a weird case, that's all. Should talk about a weird case. And my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. <laughs> Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? I mean, I don't know. He's been in there for 13 no. years. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale, do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently, but your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. Is he hallucinating? What the hell? I remember. I remember.
What the fuck? Yeah, oh my god, that's like a wormhole. What the fuck just happened? Are we gonna play as Alan Wake now? Initiation one. Was I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. Oh shit! Mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? The mirrors are turned off. No, it's like autographs and everything. What the heck? Whoa! What the fuck? Oh my god. I love when games do that. Include like um actual filmed footage. In between with Mr. Door. It's kind of like Saturday Night Live, I guess. Oh, yeah, it is. It is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. Did he just? This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> It almost feels like he traveled so through time. The sequel to departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, an auto-fictional thought experiment, a, a, a horror story, a postmodern detective story. Wait, this isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. What the fuck? Evil double? Play, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written that's right alex casey is in this book as well uh, i guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show the joke's on me but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction no but seriously i found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating it reminded me of the matrix I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. Goddamn, well, talk I, about I, I breaking the fourth wall. With your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. 
After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> all this talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> Oh my god. That is sick. The cut from... Hello? Whoa. I'm losing it. Something's not right. I don't have a flashlight or anything. No home. weapons or anything. To Alice. Find a way out of the talk show studio. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Can I go Initiation. this way? This felt like a bad dream. Oh fuck, of course not, okay. Make a good horror story. Oh wait, that's a door I, I came from. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Maybe you were, bud. Dark doppelganger. Hey! Three digit code. I think I've been locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now would I, I find that? Myself. Old gods of Great. Asgard. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Six six five neighbor of the beast. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. My god, it's so dark. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? God, A man. message. Impossible to say. Whoa, 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 okay. He's remembering it? It's behind me, isn't it? Oh my god, it's coming. Dude, it's coming! Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! No! This is the ritual to beat you all. What the fuck? What the f Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. Countless days? Is there anything I oh, can't see outside? Okay. There's a radio. What, a, what do we got here? A Initiation. A out a story. Oh, the that just happened to me. This might be his mind place. Far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Pilot board. That's what it's called. Part one, late night, read me. Beware, scratch, Alice. Waking up to a nightmare. At the talk show, I th had a thought I was home in New York, but none of that felt right. I was trapped in a dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. 
The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. I had to write more. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor had said had felt true. Was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? The dark place trapped Yuma's right to escape. My god, okay. Same thing with the radio then, okay. So I can't do anything with this. Get back to writing. Say so yeah, a radio. I couldn't leave. This huh. wasn't the way out. Okay. I had to keep writing. I didn't remember much. So that's why he but keeps writing. Thoughts and ideas could manifest countless days. In this dark place. I use my writing to project myself out of this room. Like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. Oh my god. Back in the talk show, oh my god. So he's stuck in a loop. And then I guess Saga did something that brought him out. Ah, oh, shit, I thought I could maybe take a different path, but oh well. Here we go again. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, oh my god, he looks exactly like the detective in the game. About this? What the fuck is going so, on? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film Murder Case Casey. Murder Case Wait, well, Casey. Say something first, then. Is he manifesting Destroy. that by writing it? This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing we shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp?
Oh god, we're back here, okay. Maybe I ought to look around. The door code should still be the same. Oh my god. What? That's so weird. Okay, well, everything else is the same in this room. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die again, am I not? I feel like I'm gonna die again. Oh wow, okay, this time it opened, okay. Hello? That did not sound good. evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor? I you don't. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. Okay. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of air mans. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Janitor's key. Find what was left in the talk show studio basement. Okay, let me get this straight. That says the stage. Oh, that's a map. Finally. Oh my God. Wait a second, there's a basement shortcut in this room? That's what it says, but oh, fuck you. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. 
I had yeah, to trust really. the basement would get me out of here. Oh yeah, basement. All I know is that basements are never the best place to go to, you know? I can't do anything but just look at it. So there's a TV thing here. What is over here? Oh my god, it's so fucking bright. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Oh, so he gets a lamp to shine at people, I guess? That felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I mean, it doesn't look like it's gonna work straight out of I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held oh the light. Oh my god. Out. Okay, so I'm guessing that, okay, yeah, that symbol will pop up and every time that symbol pops up, you have to pull out the lamp and it'll switch the rooms. What in the fuck is that? I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. Okay, well, before I do that... I thought it was gonna play something for me, but never mind. The glow in the light. Oh my changed, god! Shifting the light in the room. The what light the fuck? Something new from the darkness. Okay, I'm just I'm just trying to see if there's anything to pick up, but no. Okay. And now I'm past the cage. Damn, man, that's trippy. Nothing over there as well. The light is, you have to trap the light in here and then go use it somewhere else. Makes sense now. The dark place wants to draw me. Okay, yeah, there I we go. Myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer to the map. Brother. The compass is combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake that's not a lake. Oh my god.
on this one landing road. What are you looking at? Is it your face on a pane of glass? Cause somehow this window becomes a trap on this winding road. Will it ever let me go? Forever I am fading to black. Forever I am circling back. Just to fall into this trap. This winding road. Find a way out of the talk show. Well, that was, um, oh my God. Yeah, it is much brighter in here. Okay. So this is kind of his safe, uh, safe room for now. Yeah. I'm going to quickly manual save this. Okay. Awesome. So now that that's saved, um, yeah. Um, I will continue playing this in the next episode, but before I, um, end it, it's, um, we got a lot to find out in this, uh, in this part, especially what's going on with Alan Wake. And it makes sense. It, it makes sense now. Yeah. And, um, I think if I'm not wrong, I think they're trying to show us what was happening to Alan Wake in the past. Because I'm still kind of confused between two things. One, is he, like, is this whole, like, what we're playing as him something that already happened and he's recalling that? Or when he was trying to recall, somehow he got teleported through the wormhole or astral projection through the wormhole and somehow we're here now? But... I think the prior choice makes more sense. The fact that I think he's recalling what happened so that he can then explain it to Saga. That makes more sense to me. And I think I'll go with that for now until like, you know, obviously we're going to find out when we continue playing, but yeah, um, pretty interesting stuff, really cool concept. And really, I'm really fucking uh, digging this. You know, the gameplay is awesome. Story is absolutely awesome. Um, eerie, creepy whatever you want to call it it's just it's a mind fuck type shit you know but yeah so i will be ending episode three here and i will see you in the next one